Today's numbers, they're deeply concerning. And our health officials are telling us that Ontario is now in the second wave of COVID-19. We know that this wave will be more complicated, more complex. It'll be worse than the first wave we faced earlier this year. And we've all played a critical role to play. Please follow the health guidance. Please download the COVID Alert app. Please get your flu shot this year. It's absolutely critical. If we can get everyone to take these simple steps, we can tip the scale, we can avoid the worse, because we know that we're in the second wave. And we know that it will be worse than the first wave. But what we don't know yet is how bad the second wave will be. The reality is, it's up to each of us. Together, our collective actions will decide if we face a wave or a tsunami. My friends, this is extremely, extremely serious. Everything is on the table. We have already taken countless steps to restrict, restrict gatherings to address the hotspots. We've been working around the clock. We've been preparing all summer for exactly this situation. And that means strengthening our healthcare system. It means adding more resources, adding more testing capacity, and most importantly, adding more boots on the ground. As we enter the second wave, getting more healthcare workers, more nurses, more personal support workers, getting these folks in place will be absolutely critical because our frontline heroes, they need reinforcements. That's why today we can share the details of our plan to recruit, retain, and support over 3,700 more healthcare workers and caregivers. We're getting thousands of healthcare workers ready, thousands of healthcare workers, nurses, PSWs, that we can quickly deploy where they're needed most. In total, this plan will mean over $52 million to hire and train thousands of new healthcare workers. We're adding 800 more nurses, we're adding 600 more acute care nurses in hospitals and for long-term care homes, 2,000 more personal support workers, and we're giving recruits a $5,000 incentive to make a six-month commitment to work in long-term care and other settings with urgent needs. And that's going to be absolutely critical over the coming months. And we're investing another $14 million in the personal support worker training fund to continue training more PSWs for long-term care home and community care. And I'll have more to say in the coming days on providing additional support for our great PSWs. But my friends, I'm sending out a call today. We need more healthcare professionals. Your province needs you right now. Whether you're a young person applying to college or university, or someone thinking about their next career, please consider joining the fight. All it takes is a few good men and women to give us the upper hand, and that can make all the difference in the entire world. Thank you, and God bless the people of Ontario. Now I'll pass it over to Minister Elliott.